Alrighty boys, welcome back once again to another video. How are you guys doing? Guys, today we're going to be doing a tier list video over the boombox weapon and hero set within Fortnite Save the World. And this is definitely something that a lot of you guys have been asking for over on Twitch. We stream over there about five times a week if you guys do ever want to check it out. We got a big community over there. Um, but a lot of you guys have been asking for this type of video. And this, you know, actually started out as a trend about four or five months ago where tons of people were doing it. But it's something that I really enjoy doing and it gives me a chance to voice my opinion on any of the new content that we get and gives you guys a chance to voice your opinion as well in the comments down below. Today of course we're going to be taking a look at the weapons and the heroes from the boombox set and ranking them from god tier all the way to d tier. So this is going to be a pretty cool video. One thing I do want to mention before I jump into it is that you guys probably noticed the intro and the logo and the you know banner on YouTube and everything like that. I did a complete rebranding for Halloween. It's my favorite holiday of all time and I figured why not kind of join in on the festivities here on YouTube and well seeing as we have Fort Nightmares coming up I figured why not. So I didn't really just want to continue on with this video and just nonchalantly just not mention it at all. So I definitely did want to point it out for those of you guys that might be a little bit confused but let's go ahead and jump into the video and let's go ahead and jump in with this tier list. Now something I'm gonna do in this video that I normally haven't done in the past is that I'm not just going to show the entire web page of the tier list the entire video that's pretty boring so i'm going to have some gameplay in the background and i'm going to have some graphics on screen to kind of showcase how this tier list is being built from my perspective so let's go ahead and jump into it here is a picture of the tier list as well as everything below it this includes all the heroes and all the weapons so let's go ahead and jump into it and let's go ahead and start with the first option we have the beat blaster now the beat blaster in my opinion is one of my favorite assault rifles in the game Although it's not exactly a god tier assault rifle, it's not exactly something that's absolutely insane. So I'm going to put the Beat Blaster in A tier. I really do like the Beat Blaster. It's a really fun weapon. It makes enemies dance. It pierces them. It has a really decent range and it's very unique in the way that it does fire. It's a very different weapon and I feel like a lot of people sleep on it. It's one of my all time favorite assault rifles. So I'm going to put this in the A tier. So next up we have Breakbeat Wildcat and we're going to put Breakbeat Wildcat in god tier this character is absolutely ridiculous she's able to activate rock and riff pretty much 24 7 because you need very little amount of kills to get rock and riff active this is going to give you 50 percent extra damage and a little bit of extra attack speed with your melee weapons however because of the totally rocking out team perk this allows her to essentially have like 70 percent crit chance almost 100 percent of the time as long as you have traps that are killing enemies or as long as you are killing enemies yourself you can have something like like a triple crit damage candy corn LMG and just lay waste to everything in the entire vicinity without even really needing to try. I really like Break B Wildcat because you don't have to eat wafers and you don't have to do something that's ridiculous to even activate this buff to begin with. You just shoot at stuff, it gets active and you keep shooting and you're doing tons of damage. Breakbeat Wildcat, if you guys have watched any of my gameplays, you definitely know she is one of my most used heroes ever since this event started. Now, moving on over to the Crescendo, and I might upset a few people with this one, but it's my opinion. Uh, the Crescendo, I'm going to put at C tier. I don't really like the Crescendo all that much. If you guys remember a while back, I was planning on doing a review on the Crescendo, but it never happened, and that's because I just didn't really enjoy the weapon. I mean, I feel like if you use an old Betsy, you will out damage a Crescendo. If you use an Obliterator, you you will out damage a crescendo i mean maybe not on a single shot basis because the crescendo has really good single target damage you know it, it can charge up and then you know do a huge burst of damage in one shot but that doesn't really redeem the fact that it's still a very slow weapon to use and it's pretty sluggish as well. I would just rather go with an old Betsy or an Obliterator, so I don't really see myself ever using the Crescendo ever again, and I actually maxed it out. This was the first ever or the second ever weapon that I actually maxed out whenever update 10.20 dropped, so I really don't care too much for the Crescendo. I'm gonna put it in C tier. Now, moving on over to the Desa Blaster. The Desa Blaster, I'm actually going to put in the God tier. This this is a rocket launcher that is really unlike any other. You are actually encouraged to use this rocket launcher inside of a trap tunnel. It is for one, not going to blow up propanes, and for two, it's going to be bouncing all over the place and all over the walls inside of that trap tunnel, dealing multiple hits of damage to the same targets that are inside of it, with absolutely no downsides aside from actually crafting the rocket launcher. The Desa Blaster is truly something that's unlike anything else in the game, and it's a very welcome addition whenever it comes to 
the rocket launcher family because it's actually usable in every single scenario. Definitely love the Dessa Blaster, a definite god tier. Now moving on over, we have the mythic constructor, Dennis Jr. And I know that he gives the one of the most powerful team perks in the entire game. Okay, he really does. But I'm going to put him in D tier because I do want to judge him as a character, not really what he gives aside from himself. I am putting Dennis Jr. in D tier and he will be the only thing in D tier for the rest of this video because he's just the most restrictive out of every single one of the heroes. Technically, he is our first actual axe hero. Unlike Whiteout Fiona, this guy focuses completely on axes. However, that's one of his greatest downfalls because comparatively to the rest of the heroes, they have a very wide variety of ways to activate the rock and riff buff yet dennis jr has one of the most restrictive ways and it's built off of eliminations and it's just genuinely frustrating to me personally to even use him he's a constructor that's melee based and constructors really don't have that much mobility they get caught out they die easily and for him to actually have such a kind of weird you know commander perk it's just pretty annoying to activate and I don't enjoy him at all and I really heavily dislike this character and I would never use him in my commander slot unless we get some absolutely fantastic axe in the future but even then I would probably use just a ninja like Deadly Blade Crash who's one of my current favorites and I guarantee that she'll do a lot better job than he will. So let's go ahead and move on over to the Ear Splitter on the opposite side of the spectrum, yet another god tier weapon. This weapon is absolutely fantastic. Not only can it do a double crit rating, double crit damage type of roll, which the double crit rating kind of doesn't matter with the new team perk, but it also has one of the greatest heavy attacks that we've ever seen, and the basic attack damage that it can put out is something that we really don't see all that often with melee weapons. This thing is an absolute beast in the sense that it has a heavy attack that pulses on the ground multiple times, buffs you and your teammates at the same time as doing damage to enemies, and has a basic attack which can absolutely decimate even the biggest health bar enemies that are on the field. The Ear Splitter is the best spear in the game hands down, and one of the best melee weapons that we've ever seen. Extremely, extremely strong weapon in my opinion, and I'm pretty sure all of your guys' as well. So moving on over, we have the Hot Mix. Now the Hot Mix pistol is what I deem the best piercing pistol in the game, because it's true. However, just because it is the best piercing pistol in the game doesn't mean that it's something that I want to use all the time. I'm putting the Hot Mix in B tier. It's probably an A tier if you really want to consider it an objective standpoint, but from my opinion, I think the Hot Mix belongs in B tier. It does insane damage. It can also pierce enemies. It's a pretty versatile weapon. However, it's something that you got to get really close to your opponent to use, and it also has travel time on its projectiles, and I do not like that one bit. If I were using a pistol hero, I probably would very rarely use the hot mix although I do recognize that it's a very good pistol if it were outside of my opinion I would probably label it an A tier but I just cannot get over the fact that this thing is very close range based and it's projectile based it's just something that I really don't like and I'm just gonna put it in B tier that's just how it's been for me personally I'm probably never gonna use it again but it's a really good weapon overall now next up we have main stage Quinn now main stage Quinn is an A tier in my opinion she is easily one of the best heroes that we have in this entire set, but there's only one thing that is separating her from God tier in my opinion. Now main stage Quinn, she's probably one of the most powerful, a lot of people can argue that she's definitely a lot better than Breakbeat, but I'm going to give you guys my opinion on why she's an A tier and not God tier. It's because main stage Quinn is mainly a support hero, and she's not really a hero that you can use effectively whenever you are using her as a commander. See people like Breakbeat can activate their rock and riff very easily off of 4 kills, some sometimes two or three depending on the situation, and you're good to go. You have some of the best and the most consistent damage on your entire team without even trying. Well, main stage Quinn has to go out of her way, she has to harvest and pick up wafers, and then whenever she has those wafers, she has to either swing her melee weapon, eat a wafer, switch back, swing her melee weapon, or she has to shoot her assault rifle, switch back to a wafer, eat it, shoot her assault rifle, reload, switch back to a wafer, eat it, switch back to an assault rifle, and then start shooting again. It's something that is, um, um... <laughs> 
Not really a good commander in my opinion. I've never even seen a singular person use this character as a commander because she's mainly just your support hero. She is one of the best support heroes we've ever seen, but because you can't use her as a commander, I'm gonna put her in the A tier. Now, moving on over to the mic drop. Now, this is one of the most underrated weapons in my opinion, although I don't think it's really that great. The mic drop, I'm gonna put in A tier. A lot of people do sleep on this weapon as it's extremely strong strong with its basic attack and its heavy attack. Although its heavy attack for me personally is something that you gotta, you gotta kind of use a little bit leniently. It's something that you're not going to be hitting as many enemies as you might like. You have to get very close to your opponent and kind of get into a big group of them before you actually do use this heavy attack. And it's kind of a little bit inconvenient for me. I'm just not really that big of a fan of the heavy attack, but this weapon is definitely slept on, but it's not something I would consider God tier, but an easy A tier. This is something that a lot of people haven't really talk too much about that I've noticed and it's a very good club but at the end of the day it's still a club although it is the best club in the game a very good weapon a definite a tier now moving on over we have power pop penny I think it's power pop penny I'm gonna put power pop penny in B tier now normally she would have been in C tier for me uh, but I put her in B tier because recently I just noticed how good of a character this character can be whenever you are using the new hammer that just recently released whenever I started using the round pound I put power pop penny in my support team and I really didn't notice how useful she would be basically what she does is she grants rock and riff after you get a kill with a heavy attack on a melee and whenever you are using very heavy attack focused melees power pop penny really shines instead of even using my wafers most of the time I just found myself going to a big crowd of enemies using my heavy attack and then going ham on a lot of the guys that had high health bars power pop penny is very consistent in actually getting you the buff she's one of those characters that you would never really use as your commander and only in certain scenarios as your support hero but nonetheless she actually is very good and I do like having her in my melee builds whenever it comes to my support team now moving on we have the staccato shadow the staccato shadow I put as much as I wanted to put it in god tier I put the staccato shadow in a tier now the more time that I've spent with this weapon the more time I've noticed it's not exactly god tier but this weapon is still really good this weapon is in my opinion by far the best full auto shotgun in the game as you are going to get that full auto shotgun feel on top of assault rifle range on top of dancing enemies on top of piercing pellets this weapon is fantastic but the only thing keeping it away from god tier is just the base damage that it puts out it does seemingly put out a little bit less damage than most of your shotguns however it does build up whenever you are piercing those enemies and you are able to kill them from much farther away the only thing separating it from god tier is just the smidge of damage that it's missing compared to the other shotguns but it is one of the best shotguns in the game and definitely in my opinion the best full auto shotgun in the game now moving on we have the surround pound hammer and this weapon has impressed me in every which way possible this is another god tier weapon i have never been a fan of melee weapons all that much but there are very few cases where a melee weapon shows up and i'm like yo I want to use that a lot and this is one of those cases because the surround pound is a very very versatile weapon I use this weapon with a crit rating double crit damage and an attack speed and I absolutely love this thing the base attack is very consistent can hit multiple enemies as well as the heavy attack being a kind of seismic smash on the ground that can crit and can also one hit smashers very consistently and can actually go through walls and not blow up propane this thing is ridiculous and it's honestly broken i love this hammer it's one of my favorite weapons in the game an easy god tier and i don't think anybody can convince me otherwise now next up we have varsity hero varsity hero is going in the same camp as power pop penny in the b tier now again he's just one of those really decent support heroes that you ne don't necessarily use as a commander the reason i like him is because if you are doing a melee build he actually can be a little bit you know consistent whenever it does come to getting rock and riff because he drops footballs on the ground after you kill enemies and so you can always just walk over one of them start killing a bunch of enemies and then go back and walk over another and then start killing a bunch of other enemies because you can just consistently grab the buff anytime you want off of the ground just by killing other enemies he's a pretty decent support hero and honestly he's kind of okay as a commander but i wouldn't recommend it i tried testing him with the new hammer didn't really care for it too much and lastly i might hurt a couple feelings with this one i'm not sure but we have the woofer shotgun or the woofer i'm gonna call it the woofer 
the woofer shotgun I am going to put in C tier. Now, the woofer is great. It's a pretty good shotgun. If this were an objective um, kind of tier list, if I were trying to keep opinion out of it, I'd probably put it in B, maybe A tier. The woofer can put out outstanding damage, but just like the Crescendo, this was a weapon that I was going to review a while ago, but I was just really unimpressed with it and didn't care. It's a weapon that can put out tons of damage, but the only issue is that you have to get extremely close to your target. I thought the Pulsar 9000 was a weapon where you had to get close to your target. Well, the Woofer, you practically have to be giving them a back scratch before you decide to fire this weapon. And even then, sometimes it doesn't even do damage and it has a blank shot. And this weapon, it happens a lot with the Woofer and it's something that's very frustrating for me. It's a really high damaging shotgun, but it's just you have to get way Way too close to even use it I would much rather use a pulsar and even use a staccato from a much farther range just to pierce those enemies anyways but I'm gonna put the woofer in C tier and that will complete my tier list we have four in the god tier four in the a tier three in the B tier two in the C tier and one in the Dennis jr. tier <laughs> Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for my tier list for the boombox weapons and heroes I'm not exactly sure how people are gonna react to this video I'm not sure if I have the public opinion or not, but this is my own This is what I think of the weapon set I think overall it's a really strong one and it brought a lot of really cool stuff to the game in terms of pretty much being Boogie bomb the weapon set and having some really cool heroes that all offer different ways to activate the same kind of buff It kind of appeals to all different play styles. So I really do like this set overall it is really cool and uh, I really did enjoy making this video so let me know what you guys think in the comments down below do you agree with me do you disagree with me what would you change and also most importantly would you like to see more videos like this in the future I definitely enjoy recording them I want to know if you enjoy watching them but yeah guys that's it for me thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time